to come over the whole city, Amen. from the smallest to the greatest. Yes. And it's Brazil's time. Is it Argentina or Brazil? Brazil. Sorry? Brazil. Brazil. It's Brazil's time. A lot of the nations in the continent of South America are they're in fighting battles right now. But Brazil is where Savania comes from, the girl that had the gold all in her hair and all over her face. And believe me, it was real. I don't care what anybody says or how much they make fun. I watched it, and when she laid hands on me, I felt like an elephant had sat on top of me. I'm telling you, a weight of glory came from her. But you go down and subdue her enemies. Hallelujah. Let there be great gain, even as you're getting ready to go. Let there be a lot of prayer and reading of the word. Because new winds, even as Stephen whistled, there's new winds blowing there. And she shall not be exempt as God is registering nations on his chronicles and what they're doing concerning Israel and one another. And there'll be things that you'll hear about that you can't share because they're, as Steve said, below the radar. You can't tell what God's doing in the spirit. Because he's doing secret things. He that wins souls is wise. And the Lord says, be ready for unusual opportunities that's going to come your way. Pray for miracles. For many, there's many that, there's a lot of hurts, a lot of sufferings in the hearts of the people. And God's going to use you as healing oil to pour into many. He'll give you an opportunity and you fill yourself up with the Spirit to be ready. To be used. You just don't want to go and sit in the background and once in a while pray for somebody. You want to be used. You've spent this money. You've prepared. Now go back. You go in full. You come out empty. You come with His name. You come with authority. You come with bread for others to eat. You've been at the table of the Lord. You've been in the presence of the Lord. And ask God to use you. And the Lord will tell you. I asked and asked one time. I went to 12 countries in Africa. You heard my story. But I spent many hours in prayers. Hundreds of hours. Asking God to use me. And the Lord said, if you'll prepare yourself, I will take you before kings and leaders and all of the spiritual leaders in every country that you go to. That's what he said to me. And he did. He did. He did. To every country. I met the people in the high places. Presidents. I sat in front of them and prayed for them in Jesus' name. Sometimes they drugged me and carried me to places to minister to people. He raised you up to deliver nations. To shape nations. To bring nations to the new order of God. Ask the Lord to give you an eagle's eye to see into her future that you can declare over her goodness and mercy, wealth and health, prosperity. A new movement in the land is a Catholic nation, a movement of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You're going to feel like he's put wheels on your chariot. Hallelujah. Move in the heavens with the Lord. Pray a lot. Loudly in tongues before you go. If you have to get in your car and drive down the road, do it that way. That the Holy Ghost can go deep into the seat of his workings, of his governments, and you take it into the nations. I'm telling you, one can chase a thousand. Two can chase ten thousand. If you have 15 going, you figure out. We're talking about in the thousands and the millions. Woo! Glory to God. Amen. Two can chase 10,000. Three can chase 100,000. Four can chase a million. <laughs> Be filled with the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of Grace upon your life. The Spirit of Grace. Okay, say, que de boko There'll be opportunities. I told you, opportunities. You ask the Lord, you pray, and God will do it. I'm telling you, God will do it. Mm. And it doesn't matter who it is. If you're to see 
the leaders of the nations, he'll bring you before them. You got a good word in your mouth, let the Lord loosen your tongue. God is showing you many hidden things, many secrets, hidden things. Woo. Hidden things inside of you. And it wasn't time to speak or to bring them forth, but he's going to bring them forth. The spirit of truth and counsel and might is upon you to speak to many that do not have it. And a lot of them are chasing man, but God wants them to chase him. <laughs> he's the one he wants us to chase. He said, draw me and I'll run after you. Hallelujah. Find yourself, not even when they're aware, you might just put your hand on their back or their head or their neck or their arm, but you're loosening victory, liberty, and freedom Amen. into their spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name. God, I thank you. For miracles in her life, great miracles, Lord. Lord, even as she's been free and willing for others, show her those high winds that will carry her in the highest places, in the low places. Lord, a spirit of discernment. Even some will be in confusion. And God will give you a word in due season for them that have an ear to hear. I thank you, Lord. Let this be a time of restoration. Lord, you're sending people into England, into the British Isles. You're sending many people there. Lord, to once more restore the nation and all the little countries that are around her. Lord, this is their time. Let them see it. Let them know it. Let them not deny it or hold back. But Lord, let the spirit of discernment be upon everyone that has eyes to see and ears to hear. And as many will be in the midst of the people will be on the outside. The miracles, the releases that you want to bring amongst those, Lord, that do not understand the freedom of what you're doing. I thank you, God, for that release in the spirit. You're going to be like an egg beater. You're going to break the yokes. Right. You're going to break the yokes up on people. I just saw that. I just saw an egg beater. And you know what egg beaters do. It breaks the yolks and then it mixes it till it's all the same. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, don't be afraid to speak. You know how to speak softly and you know how to speak directly. Speaking of the lies of people that they shall be set free and shall be worthy of the Master's use. Hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. You're going to find many on that trip. The Lord is going to bring a new liberty to them. He's going to set the captive free as you release the Holy Ghost upon them. I don't know how many meetings or what you're going to do, if there's going to be on a ship or where, but God's made you a voice also. Also, you have the same anointing. You are not to take a back seat, but you're to step forward. And use what the Lord gives you. It's your time, honey. Your time. You don't have to wait for another day or another year. But let the Spirit lead you again and again and again. There's much that must be accomplished in the freedom and the liberty of the people. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The, the king, the queen, rather, and her husband are going to have a visit from the Lord. God keeps sending workers and messengers into the country. God is turning the tide in that place for many years. It's, it's been under heartbreak and heartache. But God is bringing a healing, a great healing. Going to cover the people and heal the, the past. That the future can come upon them. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Lord, may Chicago be a hot spot in this country. Oh, yeah. A hot spot. All those outlaws that used to go there and those gangsters and Tommy guns and prohibition. And Lord, you know all about it. And God, we just thank you. You're going to hit them with a missile like they've never seen before. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You're going to break up the fallow ground. You're going to sow seed that there shall truly be a real harvest coming out of yes. Illinois. It's a cornfield of America. It's one of the places the Lord is really interested in, but he's looking for a people that will intercede to see the difference. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You Listen, I keep seeing visions over all of you. I just saw this great, I keep seeing great 
waterfalls coming from the heavens, coming slowly with the wind in it. And the wind is blowing the water everywhere. It's not a heavy pour, but it's just the wind is just splashing it on everybody. They're going to get a touch from God. Some's going to get more than others because they're hungry. I praise you for it, Lord. Thank you for the voice that's going to cry in their wilderness. There are these three that go, Lord, let them come back with a report. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you're sending people out of this. It's not just our prayer meeting, but out of this church, Lord. The many prayer meetings that are going on, you're sending the prayer warriors to the nations to awaken the heart of the king. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. We praise you. Praise you, Lord. I don't know exactly where you're going, but I see you uncovering like a nest of snakes. Oh. God wants to use you to expose them. Yes. And you might be doing it quietly or you might not. Yes. It shall not be as you think. <laughs> God will show you the real inside out. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. Hallelujah. And when are you going over to Texas? Well, what do you think? You know, when, he, when we get older, the Lord sends others to carry us. Well, may the Lord have his will and his way in your life. In Jesus' name. Now, our rent was up two hours ago in this room. <laughs> Go with God. Be blessed to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know who the daughters of Jerusalem? Does anybody know what it means by the daughters of Jerusalem? I think some of you I told. The daughters of Jerusalem are the churches that broke off from the Pentecostal church. The Catholic the Methodists, the Presbyterian, the Lutheran, they're the daughters of Jerusalem. A lot of people think it's cities in Jerusalem, but it isn't. It's all the churches that broke off and had their own denomination, their own doctrine, their own righteousness. And God's going to bring us all back into the truth. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Thank you, Lord. The favor of God be upon you. Listen, look for it. I want you to look for it. There's not enough money to give you the favor that God wants to give you. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you. More and more people are talking about... Um, When he talks about the spirit of Elijah, he's talking about a man that had the greatest anointing on him outside of Jesus. But yet he said there was no greater man than John the Baptist. But he was a man that obeyed God in everything. He was very direct, very straight, very committed. But he had power to close the heavens and open the heavens. And God wants to bring that spirit upon us. What I'm saying is separate yourself unto God. Totally. Separate yourself. Don't let anybody stand in your way. Because listen, when God told him to anoint Elisha, he said, well, I got to go tell my parents. I got to go burn this and burn that. You know what he said to him? Elijah, Elisha, why are you taking time to tell me this? It's not important to me. That's what he said. He said, what, what does that have got to do with me? You got to burn your oxen. It meant nothing to him. Absolutely nothing. And all the things that we hear, the tragedies and all that. And yes, God is concerned, but God's not got wrinkles in his forehead trying to figure out what to do. He wants everybody to do what he's ordained them to do, and the work shall be accomplished. Amen? Amen. Now you know what I'm talking about. Mr. Ruth? Yes. You mentioned uh, last Rono twice. And last night I went on Facebook, and uh, he had almost a life death experience. Did you almost die? Yeah. Yeah. When was oh, this? That was this week. Recently? Yeah. yeah. My goodness, it must happen in the last couple, of three or four days. His, his 
gallbladder was was already petrified. Yeah, you have gangrene. Septic. Septic. Yeah. Yeah. God's not through with him, but he's not going to die. Yeah, he's going to be okay. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of prayers, but he has a mandate out for everyone to join him at uh, what, D.C.? And is it uh, August? In August. He's going to be in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, it's going to be the end of August and yeah. the 1st of September. Right. 1st of September, he's asking. End of August to the 1st of September over at the at Trump, Wolf, uh, Trump Hotel. Trump Hotel? No. Ballroom. So the devil tried to take him out, but now he's more powerful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he shall live and not die. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 If the spirit of death is not in us, we can raise the dead. You know what I'm saying? If the spirit of death is not in us, you know what the spirit of death is? It's murmuring, complaining, talking about everything else but what's on God's heart. We can raise the dead. And God's got his hand on him. If something, maybe he's got to change his diet. Who knows? Now, I'm saying that because gangrene was in my body and I was in the hospital 19 days with a bad gallbladder, 19 days. And so when Michelle asked the doctor, he said, she said, well, is she going to be okay? He said, well, her heart didn't stop beating on the operating table. That was <laughs> so he comes to see me the third day. I said, any questions? I said, yeah, I want to know when I'm going to go home. He looked at me and he said, we're not going to talk about that for a while. But it was his fault. He didn't do what he was supposed to do. He was supposed to do it. He's supposed to operate on me and turn me down. Because he said he couldn't see what I saw. It got in my eyes, my eyes turned yellow, my scalp turned orange, and green set in. But the Lord did not say I was going to die. He never told me that. Even the time that I did die, here's what he said. You're not going to die in your own blood but live. That's what he said. I hemorrhaged to death. I died. I really died. But he said, you're not going to die in your, and I'm reading about Ezra because it's, he said, I passed by I thought he was talking about Ezra. <laughs> but I, I, a little, I was at a funeral and died. But if God has not told you you're going to die, I don't care how crucial it gets, unless we get disobedient in the face of the Lord, then he, and he can take it suddenly. But God's got his hands on good. He's a, he's a mild-tempered man. All right, I love all of you. I thank you for coming. Sister, where are you from? Where are you from? Surprise. 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 Oh, surprise. surprise. We're surprised. <laughs> What's your name? Which is when. 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 Were you blessed today? Yes, I called on them that I had to take. No, it's okay, but I'm going to So, what I was here for, yes. <laughs> so I was like, I was outside. Just get in the parade. We're a parade of stars, honey. He said the stars are going to, the righteous are going to shine brighter than the stars in the last day. Amen. And I, what I mean by that, just get in line. Just join the chariot of God. Let him come down and fill your soul. He'll tell you great things. He'll tell you about the country, the future. He'll tell you headline news. He'll tell you anything if we're open to receive it, okay? Sister, would you mind if I tell about a revival meeting that's going on tomorrow? Where is that? Here? It's over at God's living room. It's Daniel McCormick. Hmm. He's been doing it. Yeah. It's tonight, tonight. Uh, tomorrow night, and Sunday night. Well, we and went over there, didn't we? Yeah, yes, we did. Yeah. And he's, okay. been, he, he's been on a circuit of America this summer. And actually, Sister Ruth, he got the word, wheel within the, the wheel. And then mm -hmm. some national prophet called him and said, I have this word for you, wheel within the wheel. So I, I kind of feel like it's it's the flow of the spirit, you know, by. It's so the I movements know. of God. When yes. you say the wheel in the middle of the yes. wheel. Yes. Remember he said, I saw the eyes that were the movements of yes. God. Yes. Yes. 
The meeting started at 6.30. The worship at 6.30. Kevin, isn't Kevin going to be speaking there? Yeah, no, not Daniel yet. Who is it? Daniel? Daniel McCormick. Yeah. yeah. Tonight, tomorrow night, and Sunday night. That's who's there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, God's already been on the move. He's actually been there more than that. And the Spirit of God just started moving in such a way. He said, I feel like I'm supposed to stay. And there was a real witness with the people. They're hungry for something. Oh, yeah. 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 You gotta be, you gotta yeah. warn it. Yeah. He's not gonna hold yeah. back tonight. He said he's gonna give it all for revival. Yeah. That's what he's been raised up yeah. on. Yeah. And I, I thought it was really key that you said often things. taught us about the wheel within the wheel, that he heard this from the Spirit. And, and then it, it got reconfirmed through another, you know, national prophet, someone he considers, you know, on a higher level than he's at. Calling him kind of out of the blue, it sounds like. You know, um, so. you got to move with the cloud, honey. Amen. Don't miss it. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for the offerings. Thank you for the blessings of the Lord that make us rich and add no sorrow. Hallelujah. Amen.